I'm happy to I put you on a radiator in there and get them a bit drier if I can. Yeah, we'll all be after the radiators, mate. <laughs> but you haven't got any grips, have you, so... Uh. Hello. I was hoping there'd be some nice uh, scenery on the way through. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> I've got the rubbish bike, they've got the good bikes. <laughs> I've got a couple of pictures to show you. This is where you tell me they can't read them, though you can. I wish that was true as well. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> I was going there. <laughs> yeah, is that stand forward enough? Looks dodgy to me. Uh, that's a suicide stand, that is. As soon as you take the weight off it. Okay, right, right, right. That's why he's left a big gap. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, you've got two choices. Right. <laughs> I'll have the puddle. I've got a little Suzuki van van in the boot. Oh, I've got one of them. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's only 130k, but I, with the wife on the back, I need something a bit yeah, yeah. poachy. Right, okay. It's a bit wet. <laughs> yeah. It's Glen Coe, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> Morning time at Glencoe. <laughs> There's a thing to wake up to. Got my tranger on, got my water boiled. It's just a incredible.
Mm. Morning. Can't beat porridge and coffee in the morning. I'll tell you what he didn't tell us. Perfect camping spot up on top of there. Oh, really? <laughs> Perhaps it's not a designated camping spot or something. Maybe he saves it for the bet customers. <laughs> Morning. 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 Did you sleep well? You did last night, yeah. No wind. Digger, digging, diggity, digger thing, doing its digging thing. We gotta wait 15 minutes. It's come from far or not? Uh, well, we were at um, Glencoe last night, but um, I mean, I'm from Sheffield. These guys are all from uh, Wiltshire, so. <laughs> Done some mileage to get to here. Yeah, yeah. Because there was just another group, I think, must have just yeah, passed. We saw them, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone's going out to the West Point, I think. Out of the Murnock, is that how you say it? Yeah. I was going to say, you would have been going the other way across the ferry, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. Why is it stopped? It broke down on Friday just before Easter. Oh, it's broken down. <laughs> right. I didn't realise why. They're waiting for it to be taken to Glasgow somewhere to get sorted. Waiting what, sorry? They're wait it's waiting to be towed to Glasgow to get oh. sorted. Okay. They said, oh, we'll send the tugboats or whatever they used to tow it down the road for it on Friday. We'll send them up Friday night to get it, and then it's still sitting there now. Mm. But, as far as when like, did it break down then? On the Friday, just before Easter. Good Friday? Yeah. Not that good then. <laughs> good old Benelli. Benelli! I can understand doing this on my Hemi. Him, but I'd have never thought I'd be doing it on a... So the lesson is, ride your Hemi. They don't go wrong. You don't know. I've only Filled other... up with water, F1 error, yeah. exhaust pipe falling off. Yeah. Perfect. Hemi, perfect. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so far. Yeah, I might not be saying that in an hour's time. So that's the centre stand that's fallen off and the exhaust started to fall off in this trip. So anybody who's buying a Benelli, I suggest when they get it home, they make sure the nuts and bolts are done up properly. Buy the salsa some Loctite. Pull all the bolts yeah. out. Or, or the run it through a line. British winter, that'll probably make everything fit, fix. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
said that we fixed his, his dirt exhaust and he's gone to look, he's gone to, gone to the cafe. Yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you not see us pull into that first cafe? No, I didn't. Because uh, when I pointed at the sign, you put your thumb up. Did you think I was talking about... No, I thought you were talking about something. I thought the garage. Yeah. I hadn't spotted the garage. And then I looked over and I saw your helmets in the garage. And I thought, oh, they'll have seen us come in this cafe. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You didn't see us come in there. Anyway, all's well that's ending well. They do lovely coffee as well. We've, really had, really nice fruit cake. we've had a lovely coffee, but I might top it off with a bit of fruitcake. Things for sale. Mm, woody things. Sewn up things, fabric things, <laughs> knitted things. What we got? Uh, what we got here? We've got bags and cups and boots, walking things, a cart full of tea and coffee and things. And then outside, obviously, lovely motorbikes. Ardnamurkan Lighthouse. This aid to navigation is provided for the safety of all mariners. Interference with this light and building will put lives at risk. Oh, nice pick. Lighthouse pick. Send you back down, I'm afraid. 152 is what I counted. 152. Oh, it is 100. Okay. American Lighthouse. Look at that. What an incredible thing. Just had the guided tour. Apparently it flashes twice every 20 seconds or something. I must have missed a few there. And I asked him when I got to the top and I was right. That's 152 is it? Yeah. Oh okay. I counted. <laughs> Tim says it's 152 steps. And then I think there's a few more on that oh, the steps. The, that's probably including the ladders then. No, the ladder takes it up to about 160 something. 164 oh, okay. maybe. About 160 odd steps to the top. <laughs> Are you going in the engine room? Yeah, I can do. They've got three. three. One of them does the first blast. Another one does the second blast, and the third one's a backup in case the other two aren't working. And they 
the compressed air gets shoved into where the tanks, where are the, oh, there, out the window. So the, the compressed air gets put into those two tanks and then sent down that big red pipe, which goes all the way to the foghorn. And it's um, two blasts every 10 minutes. Um, and so these old, uh, stinky diesel paraffin, what, what is that? Is it diesel or paraffin? He said paraffin, I think, didn't he? Oh, no, it smells of diesel. Let's have a look. Glasgow, yeah, Scotland, the air can be... Okay, and so um, there must be a belt on there. Can't yes. see it. Diesel generators. And over here we've got the old drum. So this was clockwork and wound up by wine de ruckery people. I know a few of them who, um, who would wind it up and it would spin around slowly. And that would be, that, that one would be, how long did he say? Each 17 one? seconds. No, 17 right? seconds oh, yeah, for yeah, that yeah. bit. Yeah. Two seconds for that bit, two seconds yeah. for that bit. And it came to, um, 20 all told, so I've done something wrong. <laughs> um, it faster, maybe the whole thing was 17 seconds, I can't remember. If you spin it faster, you can get a much quicker period. Beep, beep. 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 Flash, beep. flash. <laughs> yeah, you got to love turning knobs and pipes and engineering things. Pressurised air tanks. Right, so, um, snapped throttle, um, fortunately I've run in a spare one um, in parallel next to it, which was great, but it's been a right old pig to, to get in and my, um, my throttle's not returning properly, so I'm, it's going to be difficult riding home. I'm either going to have a lot of revs or I'm going to have to sort of force it past the end stop, um, which is probably what I'll do. I've had this issue before, fixed it last time, can't remember what I did, so, uh, and, but that was in the comfort and warmth of my own house. So we'll see what um see what happens when we put it all back together. 